That was so embarrassing. I cannot believe I just did that in front of a bunch of flight attendants and flight service. Why am I nervous? Okay, people, we are getting my morning coffee. Hi, I'm flight attendant Jojo and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna go get fingerprinted and drug test. Yay, hopefully I pass, which I should. <laughs> Always thinking like, did I do drugs? Did I do something that I'm not allowed to do? But I didn't, I should pass. It's 8 a.m. and my appointment is at 10.45. Uh, I don't know what time I'll leave. I used to leave two hours early to the airport. Now I'm like, mm, maybe an hour. Maybe leave at 9. That's still an hour and 45 earlier. So, you guys gotta come with me. I'm gonna go home and pick out my outfit. What does one wear to a drug test? And getting my ID back. My crew badge. I can't wait to get my crew badge back. This is so exciting. This is a very, very, very happy day for me. But, um, I probably just wear, like, black jeans, black t-shirt, my go-tos. Maybe a blazer, but I don't want to seem too dr dressed up for a drug test, so, yeah. But, this is what it's like to be a new hire, pretty much. You get the job, and then you go and do a drug test at, I think, the base that's closest to you, probably. And then, you go to training, so that's pretty much what I'm doing, just... I've already been hired by the company and we're just doing it over. So you get random drug tests and everything like that. This is my first time ever getting drug, drug tested again since um, first getting hired by my airline. So this is so exciting. I don't even know where it is in LA unless it's at the same one that I drug tested at like four years ago. Why am I nervous to go do this? Like. I will be so nervous when it comes to CQ and I go back to training. This is not going to be fun. So I'm going to go and blow dry my hair and listen to a lot of music. I think the driving there and getting there on time is what I'm most nervous for. It's literally 15 minutes long. Okay, uh, hair blow dried, then to curl, but first to decide what outfit to wear. I'm definitely not going to go in my uniform because that would be very weird. <laughs> so, and probably not like Lulu's that I usually live in. Maybe something not totally business casual. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing, as simple as possible, but also because I'm going to talk to a manager, I wore tennis shoes, just black jeans. I might even wear these to training, and then black. So, that's that. This is exactly how it is if you go and get a face-to-face -face and get, then get approved to get hired by an airline. So if you get hired, this is what you do. You go and get drug tested. I'm pretty sure they fingerprint you at the interview, but this is what it looks like. I have a whole cup of water and I have to bring my passport and ID. So, we're heading out now. See you when we get there. I think it's an hour and that's with like a little bit of traffic. So it's insane how fast I can get to LA now. So I think I'm gonna be 20 minutes early. I got here to 30 minutes early. So I'm going to take a nap and watch planes land. And I drank a ton of water on the drive. So now I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, there's a plane taking off. Looks like FedEx or something. It's huge. It's crazy how slow they go up into the air. I have my heater on full blast and my seat warmers and it's 60 degrees. I'm pathetic. All right, you guys know the routine. I have come and parked right in front of in and out and the planes are gonna land directly above me now. So I think I have five minutes here. And I'm so hungry, I didn't eat breakfast. It's 10.15 on Wednesday the 10th. So if you wanna see what planes are landing at this exact time, you can look that up, possibly. As soon as in and out opens, they might be open actually. Uh, do I wanna go get an in and out burger? They totally are open. Only have five minutes though. Do I get it after? Why did I not eat? <laughs> a 
Okay, I've made it. I'm going inside. I have to pee so bad. I'm still 15 minutes early. I got lost, rounded twice. No one was here. There was one couple saying bye. They were making out when I drove by the first time. Second time, they were still there. But really, there was like no one here for departures. There was, I think, two terminals closed. You couldn't even enter enter through there so this is weird like this is way slower than I had seen it when I was flying in September so rushing in I'm not gonna take the camera with me because I don't have any security clearance right now so I'm not trying to be annoying so I will see you when I come back with my badge yay <laughs> go down these stairs because I always have my suitcase but today I'm going down the stairs <laughs> I miss flight attendants. I miss how social everyone is, how nice everyone is. <sighs> I miss, I miss being a flight attendant. If you are thinking about becoming a flight attendant, freaking do it! It is so great. Oh, so embarrassing. I do have something very exciting to show you guys. Super embarrassing though. I thought we were getting drug tested because I thought that's what happened, but they were just looking at our criminal record. So you have to get fingerprinted when you become a flight attendant. Super intense. You have a high security clearance. So yeah, got fingerprinted and then I was handed my tablet. You guys, so exciting. My badge and everything, it's all in here. Um, and my tablet. All the good things that make me a flight attendant that allow me to go through security. I got them back. So he handed it to me. I go, are we getting drug tested? And he goes, uh, not, not today. I was like, oh, I drink so much water. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> so he took me to the bathroom. They were cracking up. There were like three other flight attendants around laughing at me because I was waiting to go to the bathroom to get drug tested. I just looked so silly, but... Oh, it puts me in such good mood just to be back at the airport, all of it. I miss it, you guys. I'm so excited to be going back. So that is soon around the corner. And yeah, okay, that was great. Time to drive home. And I'll see you there. To the airplane. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I drive the airplane. <laughs> Anyways, I was telling Marcus how they were looking at my seniority in age and they were saying what he was like Oh my gosh, this is the youngest but most senior you can be right where like you have good seniority But you were hired at a young age my birthday year was the cutoff anyone hired after That was the same age doesn't have great seniority. Am I saying that right? I don't know. I think, I think that's what I mean. That made sense. I think that made sense. You're but. just, you're really saying it for your age. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't tell you the story. I'm gonna tell Marcus the bathroom story. I'm actually telling Marcus everything that happened oh. today. We haven't chatted about it yet. He's sitting over there. So if it looks like I'm not looking at you, that's why. So I went in, filled out the all the paperwork, whether I was a criminal now or not not a criminal. Then I did my fingerprinting and then they gave me, they took me to another room to like hand me my tablet and that's when I had like chugged my whole Starbucks cup of water and then they escorted me out and then I talked to the guy, this guy that he's getting transferred to Dallas to from LA and he's going to the Philippines. So what? he's actually like soon. He doesn't have to go to CQ. So you guys, I have to go to training. That's part two of this vlog or what you'll see next. And yeah, now that's so what I wait for. He's gonna just go and then what is he doing? He's taking a leave or not? Yeah, three month leave. In March? He's taking the three month leave and going to the Philippines. Yeah. Is he from the Philippines? I don't know, he's from San Diego. 
But yeah, you guys, um, I was gonna call the training desk today, but by the time I got home, it's three o'clock. Training's usually done by like three o'clock anyways in Dallas. So I'm gonna wait until tomorrow and then I'm gonna call the training desk and we will see when I go to training. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe because we're going to Dallas and we are going to training.